And welcome back to Sports Weekly on IEMG. Well, this past week, I had the honor of attending and speaking at the San Gorgonio High School football banquet uh, at the Elks Lodge in San Bernardino. It was an honor to be out there with head coach Chris Chaddick and the Spartans to uh, look back on such a great season for them, which included a Skyline League championship. A lot to be proud of and a lot to build on for next season as well. Coach Chaddick talking about this year's team and uh, also laying the foundation for future San G football teams. Here's Coach. Oh, it did. It was, uh, it was good to just celebrate those kids and the hard work they put in and uh, bringing back the pride, the tradition, and the, the, the expectation, bringing back the standard, elevating the standard back to San G. Uh, the standard will always be the standard. It's what we're always going to shoot for. We're going to shoot for league titles. We're going to shoot for making the playoffs. And hopefully, you know, we hang another banner up there. We got two up there. You know, the goal is always to hang up another one. Uh, great development here. Uh, great, great way to lay the groundwork. And, you know, let's just keep rocking. You know, the standard is the standard. Oh, well, the first thing I'm going to remember is I'm going to remember this group of seniors because a lot of times when you come into a new program, these seniors are not your seniors. The seniors of the previous regime, it's the first time, and you can ask Coach Maida, uh, this is the first time I've ever seen it in a program where these seniors were my seniors, so I'll remember that. Um, you know, the, the good young developing JV team um, that, you know, finished 8-2, it was their first winning season in a while. Um, I'll just remember everything, the family dinners that we had. There's, there's so much that I'll remember about this season. Uh, and just learning to uh, just accept, you know, the gravity of uh, being here at my alma mater, what a blessing it is. You know, um, a lot of people would look at that as pressure. Um, I don't look at it as pressure. I look at it as just a beautiful thing, and, and it's great to rebuild. Yeah, it was a great season for Coach Chaddick. As we move along to some big local softball news, the early signing period is here, and Cajon High School star softball pitcher Jada Viegas signing her scholarship with BYU this week. Uh, Jada was a key player, the star pitcher, helping Cajon win a CIF Southern Section Championship. Uh, not last year, but the year before. Also another great playoff run last year in Division Three, which including that win there on their home field against Orange Vista. Jada is widely regarded as one of the top, if not the best pitcher in the entire Inland Empire. And she'll be back for one more go at it. Her senior season coming up for the Cowgirls. So congratulations to Jada and her family. We are going to have an interview with Jada Viegas on a future Sports Weekly here on IEMG. Really looking forward to that. She is already a CIF champion, has done a lot of great things, and one more season to go at Cajon High School. And finally, here on Sports Weekly on IEMG, man, we had a really cool event here in the city of San Bernardino as they have teamed up with the Dodgers. Yes, the LA Dodgers. You probably heard of them, uh, especially in the news recently with the big Shohei Otani signing. But also on the same day, the other big news besides Shohei Otani was, well, Dodger Dream Fields are coming to the city of San Bernardino. These Dream Fields will renovate Blair Park. Not one, not two, but three different fields at Blair Park will now become Dodger Dream Fields. The Dodgers, along with uh, partners like the San Manuel Band of Mission Indians, partnering to uh, rejuvenate these fields out there. They're hoping for a grand opening of around May or June next year. It's going to be a fresh new look, such a huge addition to the local community to give our local baseball players a place to play that is up to date and state of the art. It's going to be awesome. There was a big groundbreaking ceremony that you're looking at here involving the Dodgers, the city of San Bernardino, um, and all of their partners, including the LA Dodgers Foundation. Here's a little bit more. Good afternoon, and welcome to the groundbreaking of our 61st, 62nd, and 63rd Dodger Stream Field here at Blair Park in the city of San Bernardino. At the Los Angeles Dodgers Foundation, we build and we refurbish baseball and softball fields in underserved communities to provide safe spaces and sources of pride for families in their own neighborhoods. Everyone deserves an adequate space to play and to gather and revitalizing Dodgers dream fields creates green space, green space and life-changing opportunities. Today, as we break ground, we lay the foundation for a brighter, more inclusive future. 
These fields represent not just a place to play, but a space to dream, grow, and thrive. Let us embrace this opportunity, nurturing the spirit of our youth and preser preserving the unique culture and identity of our beloved San Bernardino despite the challenges we face. To the Dodger Foundation, everybody here in San Bernardino, like Nicole said that I'm a local kid, grew up in Barstow, went to school at San Bernardino Valley, and uh, so happy to be here today. I was driving here today and thinking, where am I going here? I've never, all the years I spent here in San Bernardino, I've never been in this part of the area and seeing the mountains and all of a sudden I drive up and I'm like, here it is, wow. Like it's a, it's a dream gonna come true for the neighborhood, the young kids that live here, a place you can trust, bring your kids here and play baseball. And I'm so excited to be a part of this. Yeah, it was great to see Dino Ebel, the assistant coach for the LA Dodgers, former San Bernardino Valley College baseball star out there for the big groundbreaking ceremony. And uh, the Dodgers, they're hoping to have 75 of these dream fields built by 2033 to mark the 75th anniversary of the Dodgers move from Brooklyn to Southern California. And of course, the Dodgers got a lot of fans here in the city of San Bernardino. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Sports Weekly on IEMG. You know what to do. Subscribe to the IE Media Group YouTube channel. My name is Pep Fernandez, and we will see you next time.